Okay, D8, D8, the distal tib-fib juncture. We've freed up the interosseous now, and now we want to get in between the bones here. Now, the picture that's in your books makes it look like I'm right in the middle of the joint there. On most people, it's actually a little bit more lateral, or a lot more lateral, actually. Like if you feel in yourself, you can follow this juncture down. And right here, especially, you have to get lateral to get around this protuberance on the tibia to get into that joint. So I'm going to get in there and have her dorsiflex again to open up that window shade motion of the tib fib. Can you see? Can you see really? I feel like I, I feel rude. I like I have my back to you over everybody over there. Come around over here if you want. Just squeeze on in. Do you need to see that again, where I was in the bone? Right here. Right at the juncture. And I find it by starting high and moving down low. Bring your toes up. Yeah, and let that go. And do just your toes. Great. And now do your foot with the toes. But leave this space. Is that possible? Leave the space. Yeah, that's, that's different. She breathes deeper. She goes a little easier on her movement. Yep. And take care of your thumbs. If you need to use both, Please do. I suppose it's possible to use a different tool, but it's, the thumb is so specific that I really do save it for these kind of moves where it's unparalleled. And I'm just feeling down between those bones as, as with passive movement, with active movement, keeping a space there. Come on up with your toes and your foot. That's it. Keep your toes up as you come on down. So just easing those bones apart, even with the movement. We're getting some little crackles and pops in there too as, as they let go. But we can feel, you can feel in yourself and I feel in her how the tendency is to lock those bones together when you move. Mm -hmm. You feel that too, Deb? It's very, very hard to let it go. And when you said to open up the space, yeah. I had to really consciously it's not, it's not like you want to. Yeah. Here's the functional part. She's having to consciously work with that openness. So it's important to me that she feel it. If we just get the tissue released, that's only half the job at best. If she doesn't change the way she moves and perceives what's happening, it's not, she's not going to take it with her. Come on up with your toes again and your foot. All right. Questions?